laughing. I have been asked to explain the philosophy of laughing, ladies and gentlemen. It has something for everybody. Adults, children, conformists, misfits, conservatives, liberals, Anita Bryant, and the Marquis de Sade. Whap, whap, whap. When I was asked to appear on Laugh-In, I hesitated. Edgar finally convinced me to do it. He said, the Jews have suffered so many years. What's one more day? I was just wondering, what would you get if Hertz merged with Tidy Bowl? O.J. Simpson running to Hertz rent a toilet. <laughs> If B. Arthur married Arthur Godfrey, it should be B. Arthur Godfrey. Now, well, if B. Arthur married B. B. Raboso, she'd be Mrs. B. 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 Raboso. Hold, hold it. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Now, where do we go? Nixon won twice. Jerry Ford and I were beaten. I guess that just proves the American voter likes elephants, but he can't tell one end from the other. In America, any boy can grow up to become president. Now what we need is some presidents who will grow up. <laughs> Shut up, Church. Remember the words of Billy Carter? He said, if I had known integration was coming so soon, I would have waited to marry the woman of my choice. <laughs> the devil made me do it. The devil made me, made me do it. The devil made you do what? Do wacky, do wacky, do wacky, do, do, do. Why, 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 why? You sure you ain't white? America's making progress. There are more blacks off welfare and onto unemployment. I found it. Well, it's about time. You know you're not a kid anymore when you couldn't break the Ten Commandments even if you wanted to. In the interest of a cleaner environment, the following segment is deleted. But at least we will be bombarded with new and exciting commercials. We were better off with sex and violence. <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful downtown Burbank, gateway to Glendale, site of the first annual Burbank Pet Show and Farrah Fawcett Lookalike Contest. Um, Dance for them, Betty. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Ready? And the winner is... Petula Pink! And here she is, dancing her way into our hearts. Go for it, Farah. These people are nuts. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros, y bienvenidos a Lafi. Ahora me gustaría presentarles alumnos de los locos, retardados mentales y crazy people. And as they say, my country, guacos, cucos y retardados que están en el programa. Nancy Blywatz, Ed Bluestone, Kim Braden, Claire Falconbridge, June Gable, Jim Giovanni, Ben Powers, Bill Rafferty, Lenny Schultz, Michael Sklar, Toad, Robin Williams, Wayland Flowers and Madam, Jack Harl. Y Sergio Aragonés, su servidor, y algunos amigos famosos que nos visitan. We are the three queens of country music. We're famous and rich as can be. Pick up an album, that's us on the cover. It's Tammy, Loretta, and me, and there's somebody. Well, uh... Who's getting score here? Show up your figure and throw on your wig, and you'll make thirty thousand a night. Good down home singing with cute playing is swinging. There ain't nothing to it, but you overdo it. I'm taking all I can get out of Nashville. I'm rocking to a NYC. You never know where the grass may be greener for Tammy, Loretta, and I don't remember. Tammy, Loretta, come on, come oh, on, no, no, just give me some time. Oh, Tammy, Loretta, and you. Am I on next? <laughs> no, come on, darling, move your right feet. Move them, I can't even see them. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be richer than Midas by singing some sweet melody? Loretta and Tammy, here's my double whammy. 
Go for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can dig it. When the ERA passes, and someday it will, and the first woman president's up on that hill, you can be sure there'll be some men who will gripe, but does she know shorthand and can the broad type? <laughs> Zippo. <laughs> Caution. Scientists can be hazardous to your health. Why do you wear cold cream to bed? You know it turns me off. Why do you ask me questions when you already know the answer? It's Michael Sklar. Who? Michael Sklar. Who is it? It's Michael Sklar. Sit on it, sucker. <laughs> on behalf of the English people on Laughing, I'd just like to say how much we appreciate the genuine respect and affection our American cousins have shown us. And so now we present Laughing salute to the mother country. <laughs> things one has to get used to in America. Back home in England, sex and violence are thought of as two separate activities. Here people think of them together. Kind of like socks and shoes and peaches and cream. Oh well. When in America, do as the Americans. Corpse looks cruddy. But that's okay, darling. Sex and violence! Sex and violence! That's the name of the game they play. Petting and punching and kissing and crying. Smooching and smacking and winking and whacking. For death and seduction, they stand low and and violence. It sounds like a multiple choice. I heard you liked sex and violins, huh? <laughs> and now for some more hardcore gore. I am Gore Vidal, a legend in my own work. Go for it, Gory! <laughs> in his new Hustler magazine, Larry Flint has promised to bring God to the people. At least he can get God across state lines. This year, Congress was determined to fight inflation. So they gave themselves a $13,000 a year raise. <laughs> Economy's down. Apathy is spreading all over the town. Egypt is mad at Israel. Carter is president. What the hell? The neutron bomb is a bummer. They'll cure cancer by summer. Wanna bet? Laughing news. Not too possessing now, laughing news. Now laughing news Nothing is happening 
Smuggle some grass. Muzzle some gas. Hijack a plane. Kiss my sweet cheek. The news today is snorry, gory, and boring. La da di la. Can't you see? Apathy. We'll think about it all tomorrow, Bill D. -D. This is the last. For tennis. Laughing snooze. Here with tonight's news, Mr. Henry Fonda. To better equip his army, Idi Amin has ordered 80 new septic tanks from Europe. Amin says he expects no problem teaching his troops how to drive them. With one of America's fairest judges being made head of the FBI, we can expect more arrests, speedier trials, and stiffer sentences. And that's just at the FBI. <laughs> President Carter said today that his offer of legitimate employment to illegal aliens who've been here more than seven years has been so successful, he may extend the offer to US citizens who've been here all their lives. <laughs> turning up like a bad penny, but with good sense. Here's Laugh-In's repeating reporter, Senator Barry Goldwater, with tonight's headlines. The USS Arizona Memorial is now selling paperweights of the ship, which has been at the bottom of Pearl Harbor since the Japanese attack in 1941. Engraved on the bottom of the paperweights are the words, made in Japan. <laughs> and that's a little like Indian gift shops selling plastic statues of General Custer. Today, the government of the Soviet Union announced that in order to monitor all the secret activities of the CIA, they pay a grand total of $10 a month by subscribing to the New York Times. You know that you're not a kid anymore when you don't care what Barry Goldwater has to say. I can dig it. All right, now, all right, everybody calm down. And every show has to have a dull moment, and here comes one of ours. <laughs> this next little lady's more fun than fiberglass underwear. Miss Goon! Good morning, Hollywood, and hello, America. Uh, now that the 1984 Olympic Games are to be held in Los Angeles, the whole showbiz community has gone into training. Lee Majors has already broken the record for throwing a javelin, even though Mrs. Majors was trying to park it at the same time. <laughs> Dolly Horton is training for the women's weightlifting in Moscow, where the two Russian champions will attempt to lift her. And Mr. Frank Sinatra announced his plans to compete in the shot put. And I called my attorney just as soon as Jilly Rizzo announced where Mr. Sinatra planned to put it. And here he comes now. So just keep on thinking those good <gasps> thoughts. Is my wig on straight? <laughs> Good. And now with some more laughing news, here is Mr. Gore Vidal. He is so smart. Bulletin from South Korea. The Korean economy is so bad that they have had to lay off 25% of United States congressmen. <laughs> Governor Brown of California stated that Americans must learn to lower their expectations. One way this could be done is by voting for Governor Brown. Now, here is our own Ed Bluestone with a laugh-in editorial. Thank you, Senator. Well, capital punishment is back in full swing, and I couldn't be happier. You know what I always say. If you're going to punish a guy, you might as well do something he'll never forget. The National Weather Service today discovered that aerosol deodorants have completely replaced the ozone in the atmosphere. Here is a revised forecast. Skies were generally unscented today, scattered ban basic. Forecast for the desert, arid extra dry. And off the coast here, two competing polar fronts, Right Guard and Fermanique, are brewing into quite a storm. It'll be a few days before we can tell if the city will smell like a locker room or a strawberry patch. <laughs> Outlook for tomorrow, sunny skies with a chance of sure. 
Radiation warnings have gone into effect, so if you're headed for the beach, be sure to wear lead or concrete. <laughs> we now take you behind the walls of a minimum security prison where the inmates are celebrating the release of John Ehrlichman. For he's a jolly good fella, for he's a jolly good fella, for he's a jolly good fella, and so say all the tapes. I had nothing to do with that. That's the news for tonight. the last request? Yes. What is it? Does the word tinkle mean anything to you? <laughs> Joan of Arc was the first woman to burn her bra. The hard way. I went to the doctor today and he said I might be pregnant. Don't be silly. I've had a vasectomy. But he hasn't. <laughs> Michael Sklar. Who? Michael Sklar. Who is it? It's Michael Sklar. I'm not here. And now, another episode of Life with Lenny. Paddle ball. Paddle chicken. Paddle fish. Paddle grapes. Paddle banana. Water. No, 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 no water. No water. You gotta hit the camera. No water. I won't hit it. Oh, a little cow. Let me call it. A little cow. Not for the camera. Oh, a little cow. Let me call it. A little cow. Oh. Paddle water. And you just finished writing a movie about a man who gives birth to a baby. That's right, and it's called Rabbit Test, Claire. Well, may I ask you, it's such a strange idea. How did you think of it? Well, 36 hours of labor with a bunch of male interns standing around saying, it doesn't hurt, honey, just push, made me think of it. Oh, Claire, the, the joke didn't work. <laughs> My money's in the movie and the joke didn't work. <laughs> when you see it, it's only 350. Oh, <laughs> War, didn't we? <laughs> God bless you. Prince Charles is cute. I'll fix you up. Mr. Sinatra, could I please have your autograph? Of course. Fainting. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sinatra, but could, could you autograph my face over here? Did you bring a chisel? <laughs> Then is more than just a television show. It's Burbank's halfway house for wackos. I say to the people out there in Burbank today, excuse me, Mr. Gordner, can you heal me? Heal! We're all... Now to be serious for a moment. <laughs> Lappin has done jokes about downtown Burbank. Some of these jokes have been cruel and insensitive. Hit it, Nancy. <laughs> Right, and for those who apologize, in an attempt to make this up as the good people of Burbank, tonight Lappin would like to show you what Burbank is really like. Fabulous. Take it away, beautiful downtown Burbank, and take her too. <laughs> 
Patty. And you think Patty is a sweetie? You will really go bananas over Burbank. Burbank? Boogie down to downtown Burbank. Life is slow and easy. Not to mention chip and slizzy. So we know you will go bonkers over Burbank. Hi, Burbank! Shake your booty down to Burbank. As we start our tour of beautiful downtown Burbank, we notice the busy streets, the scenic thoroughfares, the hustle and bustle of the business district, and of course, the quiet tranquility of the residential area. Among the more historic points of interest are the lovely railway station, the lovely Burbank City Hall. Here we have the Burbank mayor as he greets visitors on their arrival. They would have to fix this place up before they could apply for urban renewal. They are pool rooms and neighborhood bars. Broken down cars. And there's a rest home for old porno stars. <laughs> Industries in Burbank include the Burbank Hand Laundry, where there is same-day service available on hands. The Burbank Library. <laughs> and the world-famous Burbank Auto Repair. Burbank is most famous for its ever-vigilant police department. And of course, it's unusual combination fire department and home for the hopelessly silly. Like Tampico and like Cleveland, and the people get more frico every day. Hey, hey! Hey there, handsome mister, would you like to meet my sister? Come, Come to Burbank, USA! Few people know that Burbank is a leader in driver education and traffic control. In their tireless efforts to stamp out safety, Burbank has led the way not only in driver education, but in pedestrian education as well. Not only are visitors welcome to Burbank, but their children and pets will receive the same warm welcome. Everybody's always broke here. That is one big ethnic joke here. Come to Burbank, Burbank. Don't come to Burbank, you ain't here. Hello, my name is Martin Mull, and I have something rather funny I'd like to do for you. No sense rushing it. Okay, um, this is very, very close to a thrill being here on Laugh-In, primarily because I like to laugh as much as the next guy. I think happiness is a wonderful thing, and uh, there are certain symbols for happiness. I think we all know this one. It certainly brightens my day when I see that first thing in the morning. Now, why should we limit that just to our own United States of America, which this isn't American, for those of you who are watching in color. Um, why not other countries? Huh? Let's spread it around. First of all, we could go to Australia. <laughs> I think maybe the dark continent could use a little brightening. We could... <laughs> this, of course, would be, obviously enough, Argentina. Here we have China. And a quick little boat ride to Japan. <laughs> Taking guesses on this one. Are you ready? Cleveland! Siam, very good. <laughs> and this would be, of course, France. <laughs> so, a little joke for our friends out there who read. <laughs> we'll be back with some more of these later on. Stay with us. These are the old these These ain't the new You see, Lenny's wife married him for sex. She wanted to stop having it. I know what you mean. I bought a waterbed for sex. My husband stocked it with trout. Just deja vu here. It's not my fault. This is the oldest Some of our modern nuns are wearing in their hair. No, what? Holy rollers. Excuse me, Roger. It's a long distance from London. It certainly is. <laughs> My fellow Americans, this is a fact. The tallest building in Plains, Georgia, 
is a photomat store. <laughs> oh, nurse, yes. what are you doing running around with a thermometer behind your ear? Oh, oh, far out. Oh, wow. There's some patient lying there with a pencil stuck in him. <laughs> Four or aft. <laughs> What would you say to a little naughty? Hello, little naughty. <laughs> you don't know what to do with Grandpa. He's 75 and he still chases girls. Oh, don't worry about it, Waylon. Dogs chase cars, but they can't drive. Kovacs gave more than he should. Milk Girl was quite a joker. Here's to Caesar. Here's to Coca. This is the oldie but goodie section. These are the oldies. last week. She said she had this terrible pain under her left bosom. <gasps> oh, dear. What was it? Turned out to be a trick knee. <laughs> In the words of Rich Little, well, uh... <laughs> I told my husband, Edgar, that women are like wine. The older we get, the better we become. He locked me in a cellar. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra, uh, what do you think of Tom Snyder? Compared to what? Can you... Yes? Can you show me the way to my car? You can't drive in huh? <laughs> that condition? I'm not I'm too drunk to walk. In the words of Rick Barry, you can't win them all. <laughs> request? Yes. Quit flicking your bick. <laughs> I don't think they should have executed that Joan of Arc. Oh, yes, they should, love. Otherwise, a few years in jail, then bingo! Out on the streets again. <laughs> Here is the Russian weightlifting champion of the world, Boris Liftitsky, who will now attempt to lift for the first time 3,000 pounds. Due to circumstances beyond my control, laughing will return in just a moment. Is that Henry Fonda? No. You know you don't have to if you don't want to. I want to. But you are asleep. I shouldn't have awakened you. It's all right, really. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Got the salami very thin and no mayonnaise, just mess. <laughs> now here's Ben Powers for Hertz. Uh, Hertz ran a car. The superstar in ran a car. Ooh. <laughs> Who is it? Michael Sklar. We don't rent rooms to whites. <laughs> Miss Rivers, Miss Rivers. Call I, me Joan. Can I, can, I, can I really call you Joan? Joan, I'm thrilled to have you here. How about a duet? You're going to love this. Wait a minute. You're going to love it. Well, madam, I don't think I'd be able to sing No Offense with a dummy. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. It's easy. Cher did it for years. 
That's cute. That's really cute. Remember, girls, if you take the pill, the life you save may be the rabbits. <laughs> rabbit test! Rabbit test! Rabbit test! <laughs> Do wacky do? That's right, do wacky do. <laughs> do wacky do, wacky wah wah wah. On the cat rock, sugar to me, nor to Donnie or to Marie. Since I gave the country diabetes, no, you can't knock sugar to me. Laugh and remind you, you are what you eat. You deserve a break today at Wagdoogles. <laughs> If we're not rescued soon, you know what we'll have to eat to stay alive? <laughs> Darling, that is repulsive to civilized people. But we must do it. It has a chance for one of us to live. Okay, okay. We've got two whoppers, a chocolate water, a whack in a box, and a fillet of fish. <laughs> I'll have the special, please. Uh, would you like soup or salad? Uh, what kind of soup do you have? Vegetable, lentil, or onion? Vegetable, lentil, onion. Uh, just give me the salad. Mm -hmm. Roquefort, Thousand Island, or French? Mm, uh, Roquefort. No, no, make that, make that French. Yes, for your main course, steak or lobster? Uh, lobster. No, steak. No, 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 make, make that lobster. A baked potato or French fry? French fries. No baked potato and change that to steak. For no lobster. For dessert, uh, vanilla ice cream or orange sherbet? Sherbet, no ice cream, no... Uh, uh, coffee, tea or milk? Coffee, tea, milk, lobster, steak. I'll take anything. Get me to a hospital quick! County General or Bellevue? Bellevue. <laughs> I have a letter here which says, Dear Dr. Bluestone, I'm a 14-year-old boy. I'm Chinese and so are my parents. One of our family's favorite pastimes is going out for Jewish food. But I find it terribly embarrassing when my parents mimic the waiter by saying things like, Oy vey, I'm hungry. What's the special and where's the varnishkes? The waiter usually glares back as if he's dealing with Chinese Nazis. How can I convince my parents that most Jews are smart, sophisticated, and not at all like Georgie Jessel? Sign Jewish food lover. Well, Jewish food lover, being Jewish myself, I would recommend that you expose your parents to Jewish tradition and culture. Throw a bris for your father. <laughs> this delightful ceremony is sure to change your father's attitude toward Jewish waiters, especially when they're holding knives. Why are you eating my food? Well, honey, at Whack Dougal's, we do it all for you. I just came from a new diet restaurant. The first thing the waiter does is put a muzzle on you. Okay, guys, now it's time for a little class in culture. So here is laughing salute to Charlie's Angels. Prime Minister Begin. No, it's Begin. You mean they had another election already? No, the Prime Minister's name is Begin. Yeah, but it's spelled B-E-G-I-N. But it's pronounced Begin. We'd like to dedicate this song to the Israeli Prime Minister Begin. Okay, Begin. Begin? That's right, Begin. I thought so. His name is pronounced Begin, but I told you to begin the song. We like to dedicate this song to Anwar Sadat. What happened to Bagan? I changed my mind. Anyway, since Sadat was in Israel, this song will mean more to him. Okay, let's begin, begin the begin, and hold the Bagan. 
You may not recognize my face, and some people don't even know my name. <laughs> That's why whenever I go to restaurants, clubs, and fine stores everywhere, I always wear my American Express bra. It was easy for me to burn my bra. I never needed one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, before I had my American Express bra, I used to just hang around the house. <laughs> but no more. Mm -mm. The American Express bra. I can dig it. <laughs> Dolly Parton wanted to be here tonight to get something off her chest. Logistically, this was not possible in the time we have. <laughs> Laughlin looks at the wacky world of the military. Watch it. Hi there, you urban gorillas. Come on down. We got new tanks, old tanks, tanks just the way you love them. We got armored cars, half tracks. Some of them never been shot at. You people from South America, come on down. Start your own war. It's good for your revolution, your military takeover, your junta. A little surprise for El Presidente you've been planning for so long. So send us your cash, checks, coffee, or offshore drilling rights, and we'll send you all that you need to make Castro look like a piker. Your friends and neighbors will get a bang out Do you ever get the feeling it's not too reassuring when you find out that the United Nations building has an air raid shelter? This year, France sold Israel a nuclear reactor to go with the plutonium that disappeared from America last year. A number of alarmists are concerned over the fact that nuclear power plants are being built in California over earthquake faults. These same crybabies are all worked up because several pounds of plutonium have been reported missing and that in Utah, nuclear wastes are leaking into the water system. Come on. Obviously, this group of malcontents is out to slow down the progress of the development of energy in this country. Therefore, in the interest of a balanced viewpoint, Laughman presents this brief salute to nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is the only way to go, if you don't mind a one-way trip. If we keep building nuclear power plants, one day we won't need enemies. The government keeps telling us nuclear power plants are safe. But if so, why aren't they building some in Washington, D.C.? Nuclear energy can solve the problems of the future by eliminating the possibility of ever having one. There's nothing wrong with nuclear waste that a real holocaust won't bring to our attention. The problem of nuclear waste is not a cause for concern. It's a cause for panic. What they ought to do is to tell the AMA that nuclear waste cures cancer. Then we'd never hear about it again. Yeah, I suppose we ought to be grateful that the Irish haven't got a neutron bomb. Oh, they have, love, they have. They have? Huh? Well, why haven't they used it? Well, the rumor is that they haven't figured out how to get it in the mailbox. <laughs> Chinese don't have an A-bomb. I just think all eight billion of them jump up and down and go boom. Today, the United States, England, France, and Russia all signed a treaty that calls for an end to all nuclear weapons belonging to China. <laughs> and now this, to reassure you that night and day, world leaders are constantly on the alert for new ways to protect us from each other. Gentlemen, we are here to finalize our discussion of nuclear disarmament. Gentlemen, before we begin, I must inform you of this. That's right, gentlemen, we have it. The Whopper. We can now destroy the world with no possible retaliation. Not so fast, chappies. We heard you were going to develop the Whopper, so we've developed the Big Whopper. Gentlemen, you guys don't stop 
bugging me. I'll show you a real flower. Tighter, sonny, you're getting tighter. Take 109, please. The first day that the KKK patrolled the U.S. California border to keep out the undesirable 16, uh, yes. <laughs> sonny, is it true that Cher was a ventriloquist? <laughs> Are you sure you locked the bedroom door? Of course I locked the bedroom door. Mommy! Daddy! What are you doing? You didn't lock the bedroom door. So kill me. That's what I thought you were doing. Remember, I, I saw your new movie, uh, ra 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 Rabbit Death. <laughs> and uh, it inspired me to write a song for it. It's called The Hormone Blues. <laughs> oh, it's, it's wonderful. Would you like to hear it? Sure. OK. Went to bed last night with hair up on my chest. I woke up this morning with a couple of beautiful friends. You know I'm changing. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> well, she touched me like she knew me, Marlene. <laughs> Take a bath. <laughs> Take Gerald Ford is working as an advisor to NBC. I admire a man who keeps on starting at the bottom. <laughs> to the Burbank Disco Talk. Hit it, Tommy! Oh, you know, my agent discovered me in the mountains of Tennessee when a couple of them moved. Ah! <laughs> <It's clear. laughs> You know, she's no coal miner's daughter, but she sure's not gonna give Nashville the shaft. Here's what I don't get. If they can teach those robots in Star Wars how to talk, how come they can't do the same for Clint Eastwood and Charlie Bronson? <laughs> Wayland, one drink is all I can handle. Two drinks at the very most. Three drinks, I'm under the table, and four drinks, I'm under the host. <laughs> yeah, the little devil sat right down on my lap. You know, there's been so many demonstrations in Washington lately, the government set aside one whole month for them. March! Lamp! <laughs> Darling, if America's still young at 200, how can Americans be too old at 65? <laughs> Some congressmen are so upset that the government pays farmers not to grow wheat. They've asked for more money not to take bribes. You know, Claire, I don't mind a bit of sex and violence in the movies, do you? No, but not while I'm watching a film. <laughs> I'll tell you why the South voted for Jimmy Carter. He don't have no accent. A family in Detroit thought the streets were so dangerous that they sought refuge in a Mexican jail. How come a beautiful girl like you never got married? I don't believe in making the same mistake once. As a pediatrician, how do you feel about a really firm hand? Thrilled beyond words. <laughs> Did you see where Billy Carter makes five times as much money as his brother, the president? That ain't fair, honey. Everybody knows he's only worth twice as much. If you smoke enough of this, you really don't feel like hitting the wheel. <laughs> Hi, 
This is Friar Bob McGuire with Joan of Arc, No Fault Divorce. <laughs> Look at that. Reality, what a concept. <laughs> Something moving in there. <laughs> you know how to get rid of them, don't you? Shout them out. <laughs> get out of there! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a censor by the toes. He cut the part that ends the show. He's a meanie, so we must go. We'd, We'd like to say good night to all you nice people. And to you others, goodbye, Edie. <laughs> goodbye. Wait well, I'm wearing that new magnetic bra. Does it do the job? Not really. No matter which way I turn, everything else points north. I got it. Is that, uh, is that naughty? Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> Have you ever been in a drug-induced state? Yes. It's called California. <laughs> Dr. Renee Richards plays tennis with gay abandon. Go for it. Oh, gee. Yeah! <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. Americans might be a lot better informed if G. Gordon Liddy would start talking and Billy Carter would stop. Well, can you list the Ten Commandments? Yes. One, two, three. Isn't there more? <laughs> Mom, I won't be home until laugh ends over. Ravage us! Ravage us! Yo! <laughs> oh, yeah, just what they ordered. I mean I got a call from Philadelphia to check out Mayor Rizzo's bathroom. What? They think it's time he had his head examined. What? Michael? Yeah? Did you hear that Dolly Parton just had a big single come out? How did that happen? Uh, one of the straps broke on her bra. Now you've gone too far. Toad, do you realize that 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water? What's the rest covered by? Mutual of Omaha. <laughs> Do you know what Beethoven's been doing for the past 200 years? No, what? Decomposing. <laughs> Miss Davis, I want you to know what a simply smashing time we've had working with you. Your incredible talent and your professional attitude have been an inspiration to us all. Where are you from? <laughs> Why do you ask? I'd simply like to know where you got that ridiculous accent. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra, uh, may I just shake your hand? I do. Oh, Marlene, sell my clothes. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> Anybody need any money? Huh? <laughs> Coordinator on tonight's show was Wally Crowder. This is your announcer, Jack Harold, speaking. May the force be with you. Laugh and laugh.